Kia ora, good evening. I've um, been taking a nighttime walk or a twilight walk for about an hour so far and just really meditating over a lot of different things and in my mind and in my heart. And it came to me that I wanted to talk a little bit about my current journey and why I have been rather quiet in case some of you have been wondering and what I've been doing in that time where I'm at in my spiritual and physical and emotional journey. So it's a bit of ground to cover. I hope I won't um, talk for too long. But even as I say that, I recognize part of my current journey, and that is negative self-talk. You know, I do a lot of this, and I know you do too, because it's actually the common ground of humanity, and especially the society we live in at the moment thrives on being better than one another or if we're not, if we feel inferior then we berate ourselves constantly and it's a constant struggle, we're just built that way and inside our minds we react, react, react everything that we see that makes us feel less than and all too often lash out at our environment around us to try and build ourselves up. Now this is where all bullying comes from and this is of course where a lot of politics come from as well. Um, it's all wider understandings of the same dynamic. I am better than you or you're better than me so I must bring you down and stomp on you until you're less than so I can feel more than but in this entire I was about to say jungle <laughs> this dangerous ground but you know jungle is a beautiful thing and a powerful thing full of medicine <clears throat> So perhaps that fits, perhaps that doesn't. In this entire environment, we are our own worst enemies. And when we're not doing what we expect of ourselves, and I tell you what, I have pretty high expectations of myself. I'm not very kind to myself. Sometimes I fluctuate. Some days I love myself deeply, passionately and completely and understand that I am love itself. But I'm not, I'm not in that space all the time and very few people are in that space all the time. And so the journey that I've actually been on for the last several months has been to acknowledge and understand when I'm beating myself up, how I'm beating myself up and recognizing what is within myself and others and learning painstakingly to pull myself up on that, to hold space for myself which means to not judge myself which makes it damn well worse when I'm doing that but to shift to turn that narrative around and look at myself from a more compassionate angle and understand what has brought me to that point and what has brought others to that point that they are reacting that way the very word react means to react out old dramas, old patterns, old 
responses that are hiding, layered in our subconscious from um, our entire lives um, and how we react means that we got some form of energy from doing that in the past that served us and it might have served us well at the time perhaps to lock into a way that we saw ourselves at that time in the distance distant past but as you know we're constantly evolving constantly growing constantly changing but we're still reacting out all of these old ancient defunct negative patterns that are serving an old way of being so my journey has brought me to this inner journey and sometimes I get out walking and sometimes I don't um, and I've, again, I'm learning that I don't have to stick to one solid way of doing things because that's the only way, that's the be all and end all way of doing things and if I don't do that then I'm less somehow or uh, I'm not as good as my neighbour. No. Um... I've had to learn that there are infinite ways of doing things and it's about finding what works for you and what works for not only you but this current evolving precious beautiful version of yourself that you are in this moment. Not the you you used to be, not the you you are becoming, the you that you are right now with the tools and the understandings that you have around yourself so <laughs> it sounds pretty deep and it is I tell you and even the physical exercise and fitness um, has been my journey for a while I've slipped out of that and I've been working on my mind and my heart and one of the greatest things that came into my life when I started on this journey was a relationship with a beautiful, beautiful soulmate and my understanding of soulmate is somebody who has something to teach you, has a great and deep connection with you and that relationship then becomes about learning that deep and beautiful lesson in any way, in all the ways that you can. And so I've had one of these beautiful relationships come into my life. And it's been a roller coaster, but not a roller coaster of up and down like I have in the past because I've shifted. And the beautiful thing and why I say he's a soulmate is because he also has come into my life at that exact point in his life and his understanding where he also has shifted from that I'm better than you, most of the time anyway, um, ego, power sucking, sort of reactive way of being into that very same I know why you're doing this I will hold space for you until you come back to yourself um, it's a conscious relationship and it's teaching both of us so many so many different things teaching us an entire new way of being together being um, together in a way where one might fall prey to old triggers and ways of reacting out those old insecurities and old dramas and the other one doesn't bite oh, you don't know how refreshing that is how amazing that is to actually not only have someone else that doesn't bite when that shit goes down 
and just steps back and says, okay, I know where this is coming from and that's okay, it won't last forever, this too shall pass. Um, I won't engage with you right now because we won't hear each other. I'll just give you some space, give you some love. But also, usually, pulls themselves up on that. You know, I've been, I've found myself so many times saying, don't mind these tears this reaction is coming from old patterns I know why I'm doing this just it, it's not to do with you it's nothing nothing to do with you it is all to do with me um, and it's okay I think those are the two most important words that it is okay it is okay to be you however the hell you are being at this present time but to do the work of trying not to project that onto others because it becomes a cycle of reaction and um, miscommunication if you can hold personal responsibility and really that's the journey learning personal responsibility and conscious relationship with yourself first and foremost that is when you will do the most growth so yeah um, it's gone on I think we're at 12 minutes so I'll wrap it up there but this as I said this has been my journey of the last several months is going deeper into that self-consciousness without without the hatred, without the negativity, learning who I am at a very deep level and learning why I do the things that I do and how I can sit peacefully with myself and others well we do the things we do and be okay with that and understand the way that I can change the way I can change that narrative the way I can look at the situation differently next time and the way that I can help bring that through me into the world. See you later guys. Have a good night. Bye.